to my channel and sadly the last scary stories and makeup episode for this year i will be stopping the scary stories because of course halloween is about to be over happy halloween by the way i know it's not officially halloween yet but it's about to be in a few days so just want to say that i've enjoyed doing these videos for you all i enjoy doing them every year and i am a little excited to move on to my next coming up content or whatever i create for the next month because focusing on like looking up like scary stories and or like murders it's a little bit more on the negative side and i don't i like get spooked out and now that i'm getting older i feel like i get more scared for some reason i don't know if i've mentioned that before but i do get more scared and i don't like it so yeah i'm a little excited for what's coming next all the holidays yay holiday season um thanksgiving and christmas and new year's but let's not fast forward too much because we're still in spooky season mode. For today, my hair is straight. I'm just going to touch a little bit on it because I know some of you are going to be like, Oh my god, your hair is straight. So I strained it for the first time since I bleached it. As you know, I don't strain my hair uh, often. I am trying to preserve my curls and keep them healthy especially after the bleach I didn't want to strain it but I did have a special occasion which was my grandma's 90th birthday we all got together and threw her a big party and it was a uh, great Gatsby themed and it just went with the look I I wanted something different and I strained my hair and I'm, oh my god if you saw my Instagram stories I looked bomb not to toot my own horn but I looked I looked really good I felt pretty and um so yeah, I just straightened my hair. I don't plan on um, straining it too often. But if you do see me with my hair straightened here and there, I like to, you know. We all like to play with our hair and, and have different hairstyles. But yeah, it's not something I plan on doing often, especially now that it's bleached. I don't want to add that extra damage to it. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a special look. You already know that I do, I'm doing Halloween makeup looks right now. So I am going for... I don't know if I'm getting sick because my I feel like my voice sounds a little off. I hope not. But as you notice, I am wearing contacts too and I'm trying to go for the look. I think by the end of this, I'm not going to show my hair. I think I'm going to throw on a wig just because I am doing Chucky's Bride, the doll version. So she has short hair and of course I'm not going to chop off my hair. So, Or maybe I'll just show you guys like this that way it looks kind of short so i don't have to throw on a wig but i feel like it's perfect because she has like the dark roots and the platinum blonde hair but we'll see what i what i do at the end i throw on some contacts her eyes are more i think green for the doll like a vibrant green but this is like the closest i had i think these are like a gray yeah let's get started because i've been talking for a long time and i'm not doing anything here i don't know how this is gonna work but i'm gonna try okay I was going to touch base on different haunted dolls, but then decided to just go on touch base on one. Oh my god, I already look crazy. Because it was just, you know, doing the research on the doll. It's like I might as well just do it one because then it's gonna be too long too long of a video. And the one, the chosen one today was a doll by the name of Robert. I'm trying to create like a thinner <laughs> a thinner eyebrow effect and I don't think it's gonna work but let's let's see what we could do here fun fact on this doll it was traced back to being made by the same toy maker of the teddy bear Theodore so before I give uh, the story of Robert I will show a picture of what the doll looked like on here that way you have a better idea of who robert is and i say is because robert does still exist as you can see robert had like this sailor suit it does it didn't come this way it was not manufactured this way it is believed that the original owner probably was the one that had uh put this sailor suit on him Robert the doll was gifted to Robert Eugene Otto. I think that's how you say the last name, Otto, if I'm not mistaken. 
uh, he was gifted gifted to this child when he was little by it is believed that it was by one of the servants that this family had in their home and Robert the child decided to name the doll after him so I'm going to be referencing I'm going to be referencing Robert the child as Eugene and the doll as Robert that way we don't get confused here okay Robert the doll Eugene is the child so Eugene the child would carry this doll everywhere without a doubt this doll would be everywhere they became uh oh I think it did different colors they became pretty much BFs, BFFs which you would find to be a little normal right when it comes to a child and their doll I feel like I do remember when I was a child, I was at attached to certain Barbies, to uh, especially baby dolls. I was more of a baby doll person than I was with Barbies, but I love them both. So I don't think it's anything, you know, weird to see a child carrying this doll anywhere. However, I would find it weird if you are attached as in you still want this doll everyone once you're older. but. To each their own i'm not judging i'm not here to judge when he was 10 years old he ended up waking up in the middle of the night to robert just sitting at the end of his bed staring at him i would freak out totally freak out i feel like that's my biggest fear every time i go to sleep that i'm gonna wake up and there's gonna be someone just standing next to me or at the edge of my bed or you know just it, it creeps me out it definitely creeps me out I've mentioned before uh, that this has happened to me but the the one that it was like the scariest was a sleep paralysis experience where I had this guy standing right next to me I was at the edge of my bed and he was standing just pretty much looking over me and I just remembered I do remember him wearing like a plaid shirt with jeans and I remember specific characteristics about this person it was just it wasn't this just random like shadow I remember the clothes he was wearing he had like this odd face and I saw him about two to three times from waking up going back to sleep and waking up to having him on the other side of my bed uh the first time i woke up to him he was saying something to my ear but i couldn't really understand what he was saying i don't or i don't re really remember what he was saying pretty much but it was not fun it was definitely spooky so i could only imagine how this 10 year old this happened to me in my early 20s <laughs> so I could only imagine what a 10 year old would feel like having their doll just standing over them especially me as a remembering that when I was five years old or younger I would wake up to seeing you know things coming towards my way so I feel for him that's that's creepy apparently from what I was reading as a mom's running to her child there was furniture that was flipped over and they couldn't understand how this happened of course so that was the first incident according to this legend robert would sorry eugene would blame all the mishaps that would happen on robert i'm getting confused here <laughs> so anything that would go down as like accidents happen things being misplaced this was this this blame was put on the doll they talked about it with their friends and they realized that this is something that just happened when it came to kids i always wonder if i'm going to have these things happen when i have a kid because the things i saw growing up were terrifying so i feel if i knew now that i know what I would see and 
if my child were to tell me the same thing <laughs> i'd be so scared for her but of course i'm going to do my best to protect but that's besides the point it's just that's scary it's a little terrifying you know when you hear a child i feel like they're more innocent and from our beliefs you know they're just it's because they're so innocent that they're able to see more things that we are not able to see i just want to know how this was happening and they didn't get rid of the doll i feel that the first red flag would have been my child screaming because they this doll was at the end of their bed and furniture was being thrown around how i don't know maybe they didn't put two and two together which is why they let it stay there but i don't understand i think after this i'd be like this doll has to go it just has to i can't i can't live like this i refuse to live like this so these random things kept happening throughout the the child's life but he just had this unhealthy relationship with this doll where he would refer to the doll in first person it wasn't a doll to him to him it was robert a person instead of a doll so that's that itself that itself is creepy i just want to know for those of you those of you that are parents have you experienced anything like this because i want to know i i've had a cousin that um their little girl would talk to an imaginary friend but it started getting to the point where they were thinking it wasn't an imaginary friend type of situation i haven't really they're they're not from here so i haven't really the girl's already older so i honestly don't know if it's still happening but let me know if it's something that you have experience with your kid if you're comfortable sharing you know if you're not it's okay it's okay i know it's it's sometimes a private situation as i mentioned robert kept his doll uh, for a long time for his whole life actually uh, when he was an adult he ended up getting married to his wife anne and he had lost his parents so he moved into his childhood home which is now known as the artist's home because he eugene was a painter now anne didn't feel she just felt off about being uh, alone in the house she couldn't point her finger as to why but she later on ended up feeling like it was the doll robert so she asked her husband to please lock it up as i would i would probably tell my fiance to get rid of it completely but of course it was something that he was attached to since he was a child so i'm sure even if it was brought up he probably refused to as i would as well i guess so it was locked up in the attic i believe in a box no way for it to be able to find its way out because why would it it's a doll right well you would think right this house had a window upstairs that you could see from outside so it was said that there was children that would be that would be passing by and claim to see this doll just staring at them and i believe it was that they had to uh, different windows because I read on one of the other articles that you would see the doll going from window to window of course this was brought to the attention of the owner because this doll was over here spooking kids out and of course Eugene was like there's no way the, the dolls in the attic but I mean if you do think about it how would they even know about this doll to begin with so of course Eugene went to check out the situation he went upstairs to see that his doll was of course not going to be there because he was locked up in the attic and to his surprise eugene was in the upstairs bedroom where this window was at and he was sitting on this rocking chair that was facing the window i don't understand why at this point he wouldn't think anything much of it but i guess he did have a close very 
odd relationship with this doll so he wasn't going to get rid of it i assume but how i don't understand i would probably throw the whole house away i'd be like is it the house that's possessed i don't know but i'm leaving i'm not staying to find out that is not mm -mm. so of course eugene locked up the doll grabbed the doll locked it up again and it kept happening on several occasions where it would appear in the same spot in this rocking chair facing the window because the poor children kept seeing it by the window and he would find it there by the window. I would highly doubt that it was his wife pranking him because his wife didn't like the doll to begin with. I wouldn't touch the wall. I wouldn't even step my foot in the basement. I wouldn't even sleep comfortably knowing that this doll was in my house if I were Anne. I don't know how Anne did it, but she was a brave one. I don't know what the original story is because I read two different ones but apparently the uh, caretaker of Eugene once he got older ended up buying the house that he lived in and of course because he bought the house the dog came with the house and it is said that um, he would have strange things happen or you know what let me let me rewind because when this dog got locked up it is said that it was not happy of course and visitors would hear footsteps in the attic or these more like evil giggles they use the word but i don't want to say that in my house you guys already know how i feel about saying that word let me not talk while i do the lipstick because i'm not i'm gonna mess up You know what let me put my lashes on and i'll be right back as i was saying it was either passed down to this caretaker or i don't know if the caretaker maybe had a family and moved in his family but the point is they had a little girl once eugene passed away so someone else took over the house they took over the the doll and this little girl started experiencing similar things with this doll and they didn't like it but they wouldn't get rid of it i don't know why 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 don't they pay attention to their kids like get rid of the damn freaking doll you know so they wouldn't get rid of it until finally i believe it was around 20 years later they donated i should say they donated the doll to its new home which is now a museum this museum is in key west florida and it's called Fort East Martello Museum, I think. I think that's what it was. Martello. Martello Museum. Maybe I should do this with the eyeliner so it looks more darker. At this museum, they have it, I believe, in a clear box as well. Robert gets to have a lot of visitors from all over the world that go see him. Well, if you want to go see him, that's your own problem. But please, if you go see him, stay away from me. Stay away from me because Robert is now known to be a curse. I do believe it's more if you disrespect the doll in its presence. If you like make a joke or take a picture without, I don't know, asking permission. I don't know how that works. But pretty much if you disrespect it in any way, you are cursed after you leave this place. We're not going for perfect here, we're just going for a visual, okay? I mean, just using a regular eyeliner. Some of the things that people have claimed that have happened to them after visiting this doll, they say they've been in accidents, if their flights were delayed, which I feel like the flight being delayed is not much of a, you know, oh, it was because of the doll. It's just a lot of them claim to have a lot of things ha bad happen to them uh, more than they normally would. People have gotten into car accidents, they've broken an arm, a leg, just, you know, bones in general. They have gone bankrupt. Just a lot of bad things that happen to these people that have disrespected Robert. And the museum is open for anyone to go visit him, but because a lot of people do believe that this curse happens, uh, or they notice the things that start going wrong whenever they leave the museum, they end up writing letters to 
a robber and pretty much begging him to please stop the curse to please stop the bad luck because they're honestly terrified and feel like it is robber that is causing all of this bad luck i'm gonna wash my hands and i'll be right back i am back i went to go put on this black jean jacket that i have because I couldn't find my black leather one and I know I have one but I haven't really unpacked my winter clothes yet or my fall clothes they're just in boxes so I was just going through my boxes right now and yeah I couldn't find it I'm not gonna put on a wig I feel like the, my hair right now looks perfect with it even though it's long let me give it more of the short look hold on so that's the story for today it's it's robert i went with the doll the chucky's doll because i was like it's perfect i'm gonna talk about a doll why not do the makeup of a doll with that being said i do hope that you all have a safe halloween if you do celebrate it if you don't just make sure you you stay safe regardless because when i was reading into all these scary stories and just finding the right ones i was you know i kept doing a lot of reading and would come across all these different ones and the amount of crimes that happen on halloween is crazy because a lot of people could just get away with wearing masks and uh not being identified so definitely stay safe out there if you are giving out candy make sure you have people with you make sure you're not alone don't give out candy too late if you hear someone at your door by like 11 12 and it's pretty dark already i would say just to be safe you know do not open the door you just never know because from what i've been reading that's when people try to commit these crimes uh, if you're taking your kids trick-or-treating make sure you check those candies make sure you keep your kids close to you at all times please take care of yourself if you're going out partying make sure that you don't take uh, me be like a mom here don't take anyone's drink don't allow anyone to give you an open drink uh because there's crazy people out there that trust me will put stuff in your drinks even like you just turning away for a second so keep an eye on your on your drinks don't accept any open drinks uh don't drink and drive just don't do anything dangerous please stay safe uh i hope that everyone has a safe halloween but that's gonna be it for today's video thank you so much for watching thank you for being here thank you for all the support and i will see you on the next one love you besos barbie Eat your heart out. That pig. Well, hello, Dolly. Killing is an addiction like any other drug. What would Martha Stewart say? Fuck Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart can kiss my shiny plastic butt.